All right, everybody. We got some memory to put in. I want to start by showing you the board. And so here is the motherboard. And this is um, this is a Gigabyte Z890 Aorus Master. It's kind of a mouthful. Anyway, we're going to be installing the memory. These are the memory slots here. And start by pushing those back. Those are going to lock in all on their own whenever I, uh, um, whenever I put the memory in. And uh, we're going to fill all the slots here. So I have not put in the uh, wiring yet or the CPU. The NVMe is in. And so we're going to do the memory. And then I'm probably going to do the wiring. So, um, yeah. Okay, let me see here. You have to forgive me with my, my camera excellence. I'm the sound guy. I'm the camera guy. I'm the guy in front of the camera. You know, all at once. So, for this, I got 128 gigs of RAM. I have never had so much RAM in my life. Um, not a single machine. My machines right now all have 64 gigs. And uh, that was an enormous amount. And do I think 128 gig is over, overkill? Actually, yes. But um, I've looked at how long I use my machines. And I have one here that is um, six years old and another one that's uh, four years old. Is that right? I don't know. I built it in 2018. Shit. Six and seven years old. Um, so and that's what I'm still working on. I'm doing everything and it still does everything. And uh, 64 gigs in each one of those machines, which has been enough. But it's given me a nice lifespan where when new stuff comes out and it's a memory hog or whatever, I haven't worried about it. And could I continue to do 64? Uh, probably, but I want to fill all these slots at the same time with the same stuff that comes off the same manufacturing line. And so I bought two pair of this. Now, these weren't cheap. Um, and uh, so these are the Corsair. Let's see. It's the Corsair DDR5 64 gig, 6400 megahertz. It's the Vengeance DDR5. All right. So, uh, and there is a link, uh, exclamation point computer for those of you watching live. And then um, in YouTube, there's a link in the description for the full build of this computer. And anyway, the, the motherboards for the Intel Core Ultra series, which is what this is, they support natively up to 6400 megahertz. And now there's, there, are, uh, there are cases where they are supporting higher than that, but through overclocking. It's, they're calling it overclocking. Um, natively, it's supporting 6400. And so I don't know what kind of magic they're doing in the background for that. There are faster memory chips out there and there are motherboards that'll do faster. Like this one, I think will go up to 10,000. This one has all the overclocking stuff which I probably won't use until it becomes a secondary machine and I want to try and pump a little bit more power out of it or something like that. And so anyway, it's the fastest that will fit in it. Um, so I'll show you something else here too. We're going to install it and it is, um, you notice here that they are different colors. There's, there's two that are silver and two that are black, and you notice that they're not together. Well, I don't know why they're not together, but this has been a motherboard standard forever. And so the silver ones here are going to be one set and the black ones are gonna be the other set. There's gonna be a, um, there's gonna be some sort of marker down here. Ah, there it is, right there. You probably can't see it very well with that. And it shows the, it says their first DDR5. And 
So it's uh, A2, B2, and that is the silver ones. So we're going to put put those one pair in there, and then the other pair is going to go in the other one. If we only had one pair in here, they would be separated by those black ones, and I would only put it into the silver ones. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to fill all the spots, but. Um, now, I don't know if they did that because of design of, you know, how the, how the motherboards are designed out so that, um, so that it, you know, flows better or if it's for heat dissipation or what. I don't know. Um, I do know, though, that there's another thing which, I don't know, I have it around here somewhere and we will do a video on it. I have a fan for the RAM, <laughs> just for the memory. I have a fan just for the memory. And so I won't be uh, putting that on in this episode, but I will be doing that, um, putting that fan in. And that fan is able to, um, is able to monitor the temperature and I don't know if that's, I've got a couple of thermal uh, sensors. Um, I've got a couple of thermal sensors and uh, it might be that we put one of them in there. I haven't looked yet, but I did notice that a couple of them came with it. So here is the chips and I don't know, is that? Okay, so I see that in there. Oh, it's just a design well, printed the on dragons. there. I was wondering if those were actually indented and uh, part of, uh, part of the thermals or not, but it's not. All right, let's see here. Oh, well, these are thick. All right, so here it is here, but the these are kind of thick it's the housing over these which i um a lot of times so in the old days you never had housing like this on memory never it just didn't happen and um and then the day that they came out with rgb on top of these which i happen to have a pair here that does have rgb lights on the top. I wanted to jump off a cliff every time I saw it. I don't want my case being all flashy and showing everything all around and all of these lights and everything. It's bad enough that I see squirrels everywhere. I'm ADD and that for someone who's ADD is horrible for productivity. That rhymes. Maybe that should be part of a song. All right, so let me uh, in here. And now I don't know if I am going to be able to. I'm going to try and put this camera down in here. I don't. I don't know that it's going to work, but I'm trying. Ooh, maybe. Oh, that's as far down as it'll allow me to go. Gosh darn it, that's too bad. Um, all right, I tried, I tried y'all. I kind, I wanna be able to show this on camera while I do it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna try. So. We go just barely all right we're gonna put these in the first two slots you'll notice that they are notched there's there's a notch here which is off center and then there's some notches on the sides here too so the off center notch is this right here and they're all gonna go the same direction the notches are not different places in here and then these notches here are for the locking in of these. And so you gotta, you gotta pull them out, otherwise you're not gonna get them in. And, 
Oh, what does that button do? I told you there were squirrels. There's a button right there. I have no idea what it does. I pressed it though, on accident. Hope I didn't tell it to clear everything. All right, so. Um, we just need to put these in in a pair. And there are some slots here on the sides to help you guide this in. It's, it's hard to put them in wrong. I've seen it done before though. I've seen people put them in wrong. Okay, I'm just making sure the slot lines up. It does. And so now, with both my thumbs here, push down both of these, you hear them click, lock in place. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the next one. And we're going to do the same orientation. It's not going to be a different orientation. It's going to be the same orientation. And same deal. Get it to slide in. And then... There we go. I need to... This just a little bit more up here. It was hanging off just a little bit. And I don't want it to... Uh, um, I didn't want to put uneven pressure on this. Now, one of the things, one of the things that they talk about in the manual of the motherboard is to put this stuff in first before you mount it. I never really have. I've always, uh, I've always put these in while it's mounted. And, uh, but what they're getting at is they want you on a nice flat surface. When you, when you push these in, the thing is though, these have to be able to withstand the pressure of doing this because people put in and take out memory all the time after the motherboard's mounted. You're not going to pull out this whole motherboard just to add more memory. It's not going to happen. And so um, while I may suggest that, it's not what I do. And uh, so... All right, here is the second set, exact same brand, exact same dimensions, and exact same assembly line. What I mean by that is I ordered them both at the same time. You don't order them separately. You get them at the same time so that they are all part of the same manufacturing process, and that way they are the same timing and everything. So, all right. Now, I'm going to have to fit them in between here, which I can do, but it's just a little bit more tricky. So, but if you have good light and be able to feel them here. Now, here's another, here's another tip, is that when you're putting these in, and see, I'm putting all of these in together, the, um, if you then run your hands over them, after they're all in, you will feel if one's not seated all the way because it'll be a little bit higher on this end or this end. You sometimes will not get it seated all the way and you gotta reseat it. Typically, the locks won't lock in if it's not seated right. But I have seen it to where people have tried to force the locks in before and it was bad. So, Okay, this one's not on on the side. There we go. So, and they should be in all the way snug. This one over here wasn't in all the way, so I was able to get that one to snap. It, with this one, there's an audible snap on them. Not every motherboard is gonna have an audible snap. It's not really required, it's just, I just happened to hear it off of this one, and it's not uncommon to hear it. Go. And there we have folks. I'm running my fingers over it. They, yeah, they feel good. No, nope. this one here. I guess it's good. 
It's locked in. They're all in. All right, that is done. 128 gigs of RAM, ready to rock and roll. So, next up, I think it's gonna be the power supply. That's gonna be a chore. All right, we'll see you in the next video.